for 200 cash up front, we can get uh, we can trade a satellite away, or we can launch a satellite somewhere in Asia. Well, although if we if we trade the satellite away, then we still uh, then we can just build another one since we can still support it, right? Right. How long would it take to build one? Uh, we go to engineering. Commander. Uh, twenty days. Twenty days. So if we so, sell one, if we sell one right now, we could uh, start a construction of one. Well, actually. Would we be I able to get if, it? If we have the personnel we have it? for it. No, we do have the personnel for it. Okay. Would we be able to launch it before the end of the month? Uh, let's go to... What's the date? Mission what is control. the date currently? Council report is in 25 days. So, yes. Okay. I, I'd say sell it then. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was leaning towards as well. So we're going to transfer them the satellite. Oh, we do launch it for them. I was totally mistaken. Oh! Oh, so so what? We have to like launch it over France then? Over France, yeah. To, to get the reward. Well, it's it's decent money. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is. Now what what do we get for having one satellite over Europe? Uh, two scientists per month. Okay. Well, we can take that. We can take all that money they give us and put it towards you know another satellite uplink or something. Yeah. So what I'm actually gonna do before I accept that is I'm gonna transfer one of the interceptors to, to Europe. Europe. All right, so yeah, if there's any alien if if our new satellite detects any aliens over France, we can shoot them down. Yeah. So I'm going to wait for that to finish before I launch it. And I have 20 days to launch it over Europe. So that's going to be uh, okay. Uh, abductions reported. View abduction sites. Yes. Okay, now these there's you can only you can only go to one. Right. There's only time for one. And there's three, and each one that gives you a different bonus. Like that gives you, so that Argentina gives you scientists, Canada gives you engineers, and Nigeria what's the last one? gives Nigeria us cash, two hundred dollars. Two hundred. Uh, this stage, I would go for the engineers, but that's yeah, just me. Yeah, that's what I was going for as well. Nick, ultimately, Nick is the commander. I'm I am sweater man. So. <laughs> all okay. right. So we have all now, our squaddies. Yeah. Now, generally, what you want to do is you want to mix it up. You want you don't. Like, these are our four best troops, but you don't want to send them... Cause, I mean, if a guy's killed in a mission, he's dead. Yeah. I mean... So you don't want to risk, like, a situation where you've put all your, like, you know... Like, all the all, the only people who have, like, battle experience are, like, a small group of guys. And every, So you want to, like, generally want to mix it up, have, like, a, like some experienced troops and some less experienced ones every time, so, so that your newbies can, you know, uh, improve. Especially early on, because the early on it's just like sectoids, and when you send in recruits against harder enemies, they'll level up faster, but they'll also die. Yeah. Very easily. So uh, I'm gonna leave Ken because he's the support and has the medic pack, but I'm gonna remove. I'm inclined to remove everyone else and get some new blood in there. Okay. Uh, let's put Terry. Uh, Sonia and Chenley. Some color variants. Yeah, Nick, 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 and I. We went through. We did some. We we changed. You could you can customize the colors quite a bit in this game, and and you can add customize headgear, which is why we have a soldier wearing that ridiculous baseball cap into combat. It's fantastic. It is. All right. And we are off. It is. Mar H Mar March 8th, 2015. <laughs> this game's actually in the past now. That's kind of funny. <laughs> it is. All right. The drop site for this operation, operation Cryptic Pyre. We picked up a local broadcast Mission objectives. Neutralize all hostile targets. Locate and secure meld canisters. Yeah. And... And these these you are free to engage all hostile free to engage. The AO. Don't take any all right, yeah. Now these abduction missions they take place in like populated areas. Generally, but for some reason they started abducting people at a graveyard. So. Heading there now. Uh oh. It's <laughs> wasn't that like the plot of Plan Nine from Outer Space, basically? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Okay. The good thing is we can use the headstones as a pretty good cover. Oh, that's good. Just like that Max Payne 3 mission. Yeah. 
So we've got one canister of melt secured over here. That's a secondary one. So I'm going to imagine the primary one's closer up front. Okay. So with the... Oh, there's nowhere I can go, so I'm just going to dash over here. And then I'm also going to have Chumley dash this way. I uh, hope she doesn't rouse any aliens. So yeah, early on, it's generally a good idea to keep... Um, most of your soldiers together. Yeah, so they can support each other. Yeah. So I'm gonna have Ken cut up the middle here. Perry is gonna spread out. Problem is you have to balance um, keeping them together while also being able to cover enough ground. Yeah. Because nothing's worse than having a, a single alien run all over the map, evading you. Yeah. That was a big, that was a huge problem in the, could be a huge problem in the original games. It just, there'd be like one guy, and you'd be tearing the map apart trying to find him. Yeah. And it would drive you nuts. So the meld canisters actually do provide full cover bonuses. That's good. So that's secured. It looks like everything's pretty... Peaceful over there. Have Ken creep up this way. And then Terry is having me here. I have to say, playing it on this PC is a totally different experience to playing it on my laptop. <laughs> yeah, folks, you, should, you need to understand, folks, Nick's, la Nick's laptop is... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Sectoids. If any of you have seen our Let's Play uh, Dishonored, the first, uh, like, lengthy series we ever did, it comes to a rather unceremonious end in the final in the final episode. After we've completed the game, Nick's, Nick's computer just died mid-credits. It was fantastic. And it, it th the thing, it runs very hot. It sounds like a small jet engine. Nick is literally, I'm not because of, Nick literally had to like keep put like frozen fish on it and such to cool it. I did it all the time. It was great. So something that a lot of uh, people who play tactical RPGs aren't used to is that the minute that you see uh, the, the aliens in XCOM... They get to move, which can really yeah. fuck you over because she was out of position, so she had to pretty much waste her turn. Yeah. Terry is going to check this out. Uh, let's go with this guy. All right. And not bad. Didn't kill him. Okay. All right. So, unfortunately, Chun Li's pretty far. She's gonna have to book it to get over to the battlefield. Um, yeah, we'll have a dash over here. Alright. Here they come. Alright. Tectoids are, of course, the classic... Cl cl most of the enemy types in this game go back to the original XCOM. Oh, who's hit? Terry. Uh-oh. Okay, so Sonia has eyes on one. Not great odds. Terry, on the other her. hand, they 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 have the they have their move, don't they? Yeah. If you wanted to get them closer, I always check the uh, aim before I reposition them because I wouldn't sure, want to give up sure. a good spot for a bad one. Right. So, from right here, neither of them are on Overwatch because they both use their their turn to kill. Right. So I could get behind this bench. Moving closer will probably give me some better vantage point. But also expose me as opposed to the big full cover I have here. Yeah. Terry could loop around this way. I don't know if that would give him flanking. 
that's what one of your irritation. It's, you, you can't really tell until you move. Oftentimes, like if you have if it's a flank shot, or if sometimes even if you actually have a firing angle at all. Yeah. And there's no and there's no there's a there's no backsies, so that can be a little frustrating. Well, there's no backsies in real life, so. But there often is in video games. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna. Hmm. Alrighty. I'm gonna first move Ken over this way. See if we can give him a. Oh. Uh oh. Rouse two more of them. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's. Luckily, sucks. It seems... oh. although at least they seem to be sort of scooting away rather than closer. Yeah. All right, so despite nice being farther, Ken has a better, slightly better shot, uh, chance of hitting um, than Sonya or Terry. Well, well, he is higher rank. Well, he does. He has. He is more experienced. Yeah. And also, don't forget, we are using the uh, not created equal thing, so he might just have a higher base aim. Right. Now, Chun Li is actually in a pretty good position. She might be able to. I'm gonna have her loop around this way. Fifty-fifty shot. Let's go for it. There we go. Yes. Okay. So that's one down. Are they inside a little mausoleum or something there? Yeah. There's another one over here, but I don't think she can see him okay. from her angle. Okay, so... Yeah, this is a toughie. She'll get flanked if she goes over here. She'll get flanked. Yeah, any any nope. of the red uh, covers will be places where she gets flanked. You know, it, it probably won't won't air, won't air until after this episode does, but thanks to our Let's Play of Shadowrun Returns, this is actually not the first time we've had a uh, had a turn-based tactical game where there's a firefight in a cemetery. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's not going to air for a while. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's risk it. Terry's going to go over here. That is not a flanking. But it does improve his odds slightly. 60 to 61. Let's see if he can mop him up. There we go. Oh yeah, alright. Okay, Sonya actually can't even aim for this guy. But she hasn't moved yet either. So let's see if Ken can take this guy out. Now what class is Ken? Ken support. is a support class. And the reason I kept him on the mission is because he could, um... Heal, heal the wound, yeah. Yeah. He could heal them. Any of them can theoretically do it, but Ken's going to be uh, become a little bit of an expert in it. Yeah. So let's switch to support, the pistols. Support class has... Some of, the, some of the abilities you can select for the support class as they level up are specifically for uh, using the med kit more effectively. Yeah. All right, not great odds, but we're going to go for take, it. Take the nice. There we go. Yes! Yep, she was just in a blind spot. That guy moved to a bad position. Bad for him or for you? Well, for him. I think, uh, no, Chun Li's not Perfect. quite flanking him, but she's got a really good shot on him. Nice. Whoops. Kill cam. Yep. Action, action cam. There we go. All right, nicely done. All the no, no one even wounded, right? Right. No, no, Terry got hit. Although. Oh, was oh, that's right. Yeah, for two damage. For two, yeah. So, one of the things is um, the armor affects uh, the wounded rating. So your armor can absorb so much damage, and if your soldier only gets hurt in the armor section of their mm -hmm. health, then they yeah. won't be out. Oh, okay. If they if it goes in into that, they can get wounded, and if they only have like one piece of health left before they when they and mission ends, then they'll get gravely wounded. Okay. All right, promotions for everybody. Uh, everybody oh, we got Ken. Well, well, okay, yeah, but he. Oh. It's all right. Now, now, okay, headshot. What's that? Uh, Fire so Sonya is the sniper 30... now. She gets the sniper rifle and the headshot ability only. Plus thirty percent critical with, chance uh... and extra damage on critical hits based yeah. on the sniper's rank. Two turn cooldown. Alrighty, cool. Uh, Terry has become an assault trooper, making his 
baseball cap even more hilarious. <laughs> Squatty allows firing on Overwatch after firing or Overwatch after dashing on the turn. Run and gun is activated. Two turn cooldown. Yeah, that's handy. So the assault guys can run in, re can like run in fast and hard and still be able to shoot. Yeah. And Chun Li, also Chun Li a is a, a sniper. Awesome. 